This is a gem, and I'll be buying these to beat Skyblock. Here are the rules. Rule number one, every subscriber I get during this series will force me to place one emerald block out of my island. Rule number two, I cannot take any items from other people. All right, let's see how many gems we will buy today and 16,400? That's like 100 bucks. All right, let's uh, proceed to check out and buy these gems. And there we go, we have the 16,400 Skyblock gems. What a nice day it is to be on Skyblock, except the fact that I just spent $100. So I have the 16,000 gems, but before I do anything, I have to shout out Rage Train because because I basically stole the series from him. I just thought it would be really cool and interesting to do and a lot of fun because it's something different. And I've been analyzing his series and I feel like I could do it a little bit smarter because we are going to try setting ourselves up for the future. I'll explain all of that in just a bit, but I'm not sure if I want to spend all of my gems on cookies just yet because if we go to the upgrades, we could max out all of our minion slots first because the more minions, the faster we can gain more collections. Let's actually start this free upgrade and I'm curious how much would it cost to, in yeah, it only costs 144 gems to skip. We'll leave that for now. I will go back to that a little bit later, but let's actually buy some cookies now. So we'll buy a dozen, another dozen, and I'll buy a half dozen. All right, so let's sell the cookies. If we do sell instantly, we get 78 mil, but if we make a sell order, we get 80 mil. For these ones, I'll throw them up up in a sell order because we will get a little bit more money. I'm not really sure if it's actually worth doing a sell order, so we might just have to wait and see how fast they sell. But we'll go and instant sell this dozen right here for 31 mil. Oh yeah, look, six of them already sold. Okay, that's pretty good. I have about 3,000 gems remaining, so let me maybe do these minion upgrades. My whole goal is to probably use these minion upgrades and get as many redstone minions down as I can because we actually don't even have like any collections unlocked right now because this is a brand new profile but to get the better accessory bags we need to unlock the redstone 144 gems to skip that 576 gems to skip it the next one is 1152 so we'll skip that one i'm now down to 917 gems so we can't skip anymore oh and another thing is every single episode i'm going to be spinning the wheel at the beginning and that will determine on how many gems we buy for that video okay so let me claim this 16 mil i'm just gonna let these sell for now unless i desperately need money so let's start spending some money i can buy an efficiency six stonk for 470k so let's buy that i bought the pickaxe because i want to get every ore recipe for the minions and obviously the stonk makes it a lot faster to mine and there we go we got the cold minion recipe unlocked okay so i just realized two things that we made a mistake on number one we probably should get ourselves a booster cookie because if we died that would suck now another thing is i completely forgot the stonk is a breaking power one meaning it can only break stone and coal so i can't even mine any other ores in that so we got to find the new pickaxe actually yeah so let's buy this pick on imbus 2000 for 330k these ones do break but i can repair them and another thing is uh well it's 1500 mining speed which is actually quite crazy another good thing is we can always resell like the stonk later actually before that i'm going to upgrade my efficiency to level five on this pickaxe and you know what let's buy ourselves a god potion that is 440k i'll also buy myself an aote so that we can teleport around all right now let's use this god potion and get to mining some more ores all right we got the iron minion recipe unlocked and the gold minion all right so now it's time to head to the deep caverns all right so we got the lapis minion recipe redstone minion recipe emerald minion recipe diamond minion recipe and finally we got obsidian so the good news is we did get all of the minions or all of the mining minions all the way up to the deep caverns i'm gonna go and quickly sell my stonk for 499 mil i said 499 mil i meant 499k even though someone probably would buy for 499 mil youtube rank perks but let's go check back at bazaar so we don't have any more cookies sold i'm gonna sell my whole inventory because i just have too much stuff all right so let me cancel these cookie orders and re-put them up so that they sell now i do have to go back to the island and luckily we now have a booster cookie which means i can access bazaar from anywhere so let's type slash bz 
and buy a full inventory of cobblestone. Instant upgrade this to level four. A full inventory of enchanted cobblestone only costs 584,000. This should upgrade this all the way to the max level. Yeah, we just bought way too many, but now this is a max minion. I'm gonna throw this in my ender chest as I don't need it. We can sell all the cobblestone, but the next minion to work on now is the coal minion. And it's now maxed out. Oh yeah, and also right here, we have 23 million coins to claim from selling more cookies. Okay, so I don't want to bore you guys any longer. So I just upgraded a bunch more of these minions to the max tier. Wait, I missed the lapis one? Okay, I have one more tier of the lapis minion. That would be 36 enchanted lapis blocks and... Okay, there we go. But we have our 13th minion slot. We just unlocked it. So that should be good for now. Um, Let's do this. Let me get redstone minions crafted and set up. Oh yeah, by the way, the rest of our booster cookies sold. So that's 40 more mil. Okay, so plans have changed. I'm going to buy 13 just different tier minions. There's tier nines, tier sevens, tier eights for two mil. This is actually a good deal because it saves me a lot of time. But yeah, let's uh, accept that. And now we can just get right to placing. All right, so let's place this last minion right there. And now I need 13 super compactors. This will cost me 2.3 mil, which is actually pretty cheap. Now I'm debating on either getting an enchanted lava bucket or if I should just get hamster wheels. Yeah, you know what? I think we'll do hamster wheels. So I'll put eight of them in each minion, which will be 104 of these. And that'll total for 2.2 mil. Finally, we got all of the boring stuff out of the way. Now, no matter what we're doing, if I'm offline, if I'm doing something else, we will always have minions working for us, which is very nice. So if you take a look here, we need about, what is the max one? It is right here. 1.4 million redstone collected to get the maximum upgrade for the accessory bag. It'll take a little while, but it will be worth it. Anyways, I think we should actually move forward now. So we have about 83 million coins left. So I was looking around the auction house for different armors and it turns out the werewolf armor set has no requirements. So if we buy this, that would be really, really good. The set will only be about 2.5 mil total. This will only be temporary until we get to a higher combat level or when we complete dungeons so that we can get these different armor sets but right now our stats uh are gonna be way better with these on so now i have 824 health and for the weapon i think we might go with the flower of truth this is 4 million coins but there's also no requirement the only downside is we can't use a lot of these enchantments that one unfortunately just got bought so we're gonna have to look for a different one i'm actually going to reforge every armor piece to be fierce And we'll make the Flower of Truth legendary. That way we have more crit chance. Okay, so some of the talisman I know we can get right now are these ones. So we'll just buy them from the NPCs. We should be able to unlock the accessory bag after collecting a couple of these minions. Yep, there we go. Okay, so we have the small accessory bag. We can throw these guys in here. And I can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more talisman. Oh yeah, and by the way, any one of you who's watching, please go ahead and feel free to let me know some ideas you have because I'm definitely open to read the comments for trying to figure out certain items i can get that doesn't have a certain combat level or whatnot so make sure you let me know your opinion on some things i'm going to buy this four million coin shark necklace we can buy the fish affinity talisman for 60k oh we can buy this candy artifact for 670k speed artifact for 2.9 mil a bat artifact for 918,000. I can get a haste ring for 100k, a piggy bank for 80k. So I filled up my accessory bag with a little bit of talisman. I'm curious on what our magic power is. Oh, wow, that's actually not bad. 91 magic power. Now the question is, which one should we pick? Let's just go with the first one. Another thing we do have to do, unfortunately, is get the fairy souls. But let's do a damage test and... 4.5k. I expected a little bit more damage. I'm pretty sure a huge factor with this is the fact that I can't use most of my enchantments. Oh, and the main reason I can't deal damage is because of my combat level. I'm only level 3, and that is just god awful. So next episode, we have to increase our combat level or we just won't get anywhere. But thank you all for watching. Unfortunately, the first day is very cut short because it is getting really late at night and I can no longer record. But thank you for watching and I will catch you all later.